G, would you yeah. like to make a statement of a bunch over to G, man? Well, well, uh, yeah, and also, I'm. I'd like to contest the idea that there was a law that, you know, you couldn't go and steal a man. Uh, I'm fairly certain, if I'm not mistaken, that that is primarily about fellow Israelites, not foreigners. Um, but I mean, also, if you look in Judges 21, which isn't exactly God commanding anything, but it's still happening. Um, basically you have um some israelites going and stealing a bunch of young uh small girl uh uh small girls for the benjamites uh they just took them right off the right off the field so uh i mean it, i think that kind of goes hand in hand with the whole not following the law thing which i saw beckel shaking his head ferociously yeah. so i'm trying to teach us because if you're trying to teach us, I would recommend you read what you're talking about because you're totally misrepresenting the Bible at this particular oh, point. No, no, no. I mean, I, 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 I do right read it. I mean, on every... Let, let, let so, G-Man make so, a statement so, first. Sorry. Let, let G-Man every... Yeah, these two have been talking for a long time, and I'm sorry. There's, there's some correction that's got to go on. So, Dr. Josh, I'll start with you. You said that um, that beating your slaves was, was, uh, was necessary. I'm just paraphrasing here a little bit. And you were saying and, 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 and that it was expected in order to control your slaves. And your example of this was, you know, the spear of the rock spoiled the child. Yeah, I mean, probably the okay, yeah. first of all, the scripture where it says spear of the rock spoiled the child, that's talking about discipline. That's not talking about using a literal rod and beating a baby. We all everybody in Christendom knows that. We know anybody that goes to church one week and say, I got that rod and I beat one. You know, we're calling CPS on them. You know what I mean? Like, that's not what we teach, and you ain't gonna find nobody in the body of Christ that believes that unless they're a heretic. Uh, no, um, yeah, if you if, if you look up to train, wait a minute, I'm to train. I think you guys talked enough. Okay, <laughs> it's our I'll turn now. Sorry, it's our turn now. Okay, yeah, you, you guys brought up a lot of points. So yeah. So as far as like Exodus 21, uh, let's deal with that first with the whole. You know, uh, and Doctor John said that this is not a manual or whatever, but this is like like a go-to for a lot of atheists about the immorality of slavery in the Bible, right? Where it says that you know, if you love your master, you know what I mean, because you know she the, the master can give her can give the slave a wife, you know what I mean, and it's looked upon as being a loophole, and he loves his master, then he can keep the wife and he can stay there. Anybody who actually reads the first few chapter, the first a few verses in Exodus twenty-one, will know this is specific law. If you go in there by yourself. If you go in here and you you bring a wife with you, and what happens if your master gives you a wife? That woman belongs to the slave owner. It makes logical sense that even if he marries her, you understand, he knows because it is a national law. Of all 12 tribes of Israel would have known about this law. And even some nations round about Israel would have known this law. It is not a loophole. In order for it to be a loophole, the way the atheists talk about, the master would have to have to make that rule. Anybody can go type in well, what are the 613 or 617 laws that are mentioned in the nation of Israel, and you'll see all of them, and that happens to be one of them. You know what I mean? So no, that that, that, that doesn't work. As far as man stealing goes, man stealing is a sin in scripture. As a matter of fact, if your slave runs away, you are to let him just stay away. You, you're you're not allowed, for example, to, to to just mistreat your slave in the nation of Israel because they are bound to the other uh, 600 plus laws that are mentioned in the Old Testament. For example, uh, one, one of the things that's taught regarding your enemies is, let's say you happen to enslave an Edomite, right? In Deuteronomy chapter, what is that, 23, 7, Michael, where it says, do not abhor an Edomite, for he is your brother. <laughs> you know what I mean? And, and it has laws about uh, the Egyptians and like the, the various different countries. And you'll notice that whenever they went to a foreign land, it was always judgment. And I challenge anybody on this panel to be able to show how that wasn't the case and how they just like, you know, I, I, I think I need me some free labor. I'm gonna go to this other nation over here and I'm gonna snatch a couple of people up, bring them over to America like America did. And I would like to give an example of a modern day slavery that is very much condoned. Unfortunately, I think, uh, Beckel might correct me on this, but everybody on this panel, and as our modern day prison system, and I'm gonna save that for a little bit later. So, uh, hey, would you uh, like to address? Uh, yeah, I will you... never shut up, bro. Yeah. Would you like to give an example or uh, provide anything to contend with what uh, G Man's saying? G. Oh, me, me. Yeah. Uh, uh, okay. Yeah, yeah, Beckel's been waiting for like 
12 minutes. All right, Chai, yeah, I was, I was waiting for back. All right, Chai, go ahead, back. Yeah. No, no, I, I, um, I'll, I'll wait. G Man said a, a mouthful that, yeah. I, yeah, and I, I commend him for that. So, um, I mean, much more I can piggyback off, but I, I want to hear some responses to what G Man said so I can respond. Okay. Well, uh, I mean, I, I posted in the chat a link to a book from Christians about how to use a rod to beat your child and they use that exact thing so i mean for uh, you're just playing a no true scotsman fallacy if you're trying to say that that no true christian would beat their kid with a rod uh you, you, as far as that verse goes so uh, while it is about discipline uh it you know there there are definitely christians that take it very literally uh about beating their children with rods um so uh th there's that uh, but also i feel like you didn't really listen at all to what i said about how you know about the whole no, no man stealing thing like that was just about not stealing your fellow israelite it does not concern foreigners at all like i mean you can i mean you see god literally commanding um you never gave him a chance to respond Vecco would have responded to that i'm sure of it you never gave him a chance to respond to it once g so, finished well, no, I, 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 I said, I said you can go ahead and respond to what you yeah. said but i would like to respond to the man stealing when what? you're done hold, hold on why, why is it that y'all get the five minutes or whatever but i make one statement and automatically you got to just respond what why is that there g man kind of feels like a double standard there buddy no it's not a double standard what it is is that you two spent a very long time talking i made my first response and i was expecting veckel to go into the whole jeremiah thing veckel was happy and enough with it veckel was fine with it uh g made a statement veckel would like to make a response to it so veckel if you would like to make a response to what g stated well, well i think uh godless was trying to wrap it up or something like yeah. that so i'll wait for him to wrap it up and then i'll thank respond. you for your respect thank you g if you can finish yeah. that <sighs> okay um <sighs> Fuck, I, I, I done forgot what, what I was going to say. So but just go on ahead, Beckham. Sorry about that. My daughter's playing with my phone. Okay. Um, all right, man stealing. Uh, first, I, I would challenge you, uh, Godless, to show me one verse where God uh, condoned or, or commanded the act of man stealing uh, anywhere in scripture. Um, everywhere I see it in scripture, it, I see it being condemned. In the Bible, where the conditions are for slavery, uh, enemies of Israel, as I said before, excuse me, enemies of Israel that were made captives of war, numbers going back to Numbers 31, uh, which also we could talk about too, because you mentioned something about the Benjamites. I think you were talking about the Midianites, uh, Midianite girls. Uh, that's a little bit of a different topic, but we could talk about that too if you want. I'm more than prepared to talk about that as well. Uh, the enemies of Israel that were made captives uh, of war, people who owed money to someone else, and I'm talking about the different categories of people who would be enslaved. Uh, you have people who volunteered their their bodies into indentured servitude, someone you know, someone and so forth, uh, and some people were born into it. We're not going to lie about that. You know, obviously, it's in the text. But again, unlike the slave trade that we saw with antebellum and a transatlantic slave trade, we don't see one example anywhere in scripture where God outside of the act of war, where God commanded the Israelites to arbitrarily go and kidnap people from a foreign nation just to enslave them. Okay, now you can, you haven't brought up one example yet. And, and furthermore, how do you refute these passages that are clearly in scripture that clearly show God condemning the act of man stealing. Okay, man stealing. Well, it's man stealing. You can look at it in two ways. You can either look at it as uh, you're stealing somebody else's property, okay? Or you could look at it as flat out kidnapping, okay? But that's the way the King James uses the word man stealing. You don't do that either way. Either way, either it's just flat out kidnapping or you're stealing another slave that belonged to somebody else. Either way, it's wrong god condemns the act now if you can show us anywhere in scripture in the old testament where god commanded and condoned this act i would like to see it g go ahead numbers 31. 
Well, you know, I put my head in my hand too there, Veckel, because I plainly laid out why the whole man stealing thing does not apply to foreigners because that particular portion, uh, which I can't remember the verse right off the top of my head, but I know that it only is concerned with the Israelites. Like you can't steal, like you cannot kidnap or steal uh, the Israelites uh, of, of you know one of uh, uh, God's chosen people numbers 31 plainly has God commanding them to go in kill all of the the Midianites I believe it is and take the women can I ask you a simple question sure why why yeah why did God? They worship different before? gods. They they were a different they were a different group of people. They worship different gods differently. So, so God gave them that command just because He didn't like what they were doing over there. That's it. That's the only reason. I mean, I, as as far as I know, the Midianites were seen as the the yeah. enemies, and so went over there and. Uh, wait, 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 what was that I mean, word? Wait, 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 say that again. As far as you know, the Midianites were what? Viewed as what? Enemies. Okay, if you're an enemy, that means there's some sort of conflict, right? If I'm enemies with the guy in another town or even across the border in Canada, even if I'm enemies with him, I should not go over there and kill the entire city and take all of the young women for sexual slavery. How much how much history do you know about the conflict between Israelites and the Midianites? It Can you give us any literally details? does not matter. It has God saying, hey, that's go the end of this discussion. Them, take the young women. That's the end of this discussion then. How? Thank you. Thank you. Have a nice day. Oh. What? Because now you're just kind of arbitrarily making up some sort of rules, which you yourself cannot hold, be held account, uh, hold yourself accountable to. How what so? are you saying? How why are you I... saying? Why you're not giving us? You got two problems here. First of all, you're not giving us any details as to the type of conflict that was between Israel and the Midianites. Okay. I don't okay, think so that well, matters. Are you, are you see all you're doing though, and and I mean this with the utmost respect, but what you're doing though is you're regurgitating the same garbage that we've heard atheists for years uh, say over and over again, they only, all they know about is, oh, Numbers 31, the little girls, because we know that's where you're gonna go next, because we've heard it a thousand times. The little girls, you know, say, Moses tells the Israelites, you know, kill all these people, the older women, uh, but spare yourself the young girls and all this stuff. And then you wanna try to argue that, oh, this is this is a validation for pedophilia. We've heard it a thousand times, come on. The fact of the matter is though, what most people do, and including yourself, what you're not doing is you're not taking into context as to why God gave that command, okay? It wasn't that God was sitting up in heaven just like, you know what, I'm bored. I want to go kill a couple of mofos and their babies. Spare the girls. Hey, guess what, kings? I want you to go send some Israelites over there and, uh, you know, enslave them. They didn't do anything wrong. I just want you to enslave them. See, that's what you're thinking. See, that's one problem that you have. The other problem is, and this is a whole different topic here, is the issue of morality. I, I, I you guys not, are coming I, out here no, no, talking to us as if, well, I have a problem. Well, I know you have a problem with it, but that doesn't tell us whether or not the thing is in and of itself is right or wrong. Okay, we're talking about morality here? We're talking about what the Bible says about slavery. Well, I mean, I'm just asking. Those are two I'm different just... topics there. Yeah, they, they are two different topics, but also I don't think that it really matters all that much as to the reasons why they went to another city, killed everybody there and took all the young girls as sexual slaves. Like, I don't think that I don't think the reason matters there. The, the, the fact of the matter is, is that God said, go do this. And this is a, 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 an action that we would find abhorrent now. But it's, it's still just the pure fact that God said, go and do this. So, so? I, would like to respond. I, I, I actually got a little bit I want to say about that. I want to correct Godless engineer or something. You keep saying all the girls. In fact, you said it twice. Um, all the women, actually, you said, and then you said all the girls. It's the virgins, my friend. When, the ones that have not been defiled by men. 
That's what the bunch Which would be the young girls and, 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 and anybody that I hasn't known a dick. The reason why I bring this up is because you're talking about we're, we're, we're talking about the, you know, God condoning something that, that society would not consider to be good. And if we're going to talk about this, we need to be specific about what, what, what those passages say. It's not saying all the girls saying it's not saying all the women. It's talking about the virgins who have not been defiled by men. I got a because question. Because that makes it better? Here. I have a question. I have a question. What was that nation doing? Since you believe that the punishment for them was too harsh. What, what, what was that nation doing? It does not matter. It doesn't matter? It doesn't matter what they were doing. Okay, okay. so I disagree with you on two points. The first point is this. They were taking babies. They had these altars that looked like a bowl, and there was fire underneath it, and they were sacrificing these babies to their false gods. Okay? Now, us going over... I'm sorry. Is Israel going over there and doing what and, and and basically going over there and administering justice and keeping the women that were not um uh, that were not uh how can i put this um keeping the women that were not defiled by their traditions and all the stuff that was going on over there you know makes sense because you 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 want to try to preserve as many of them as possible and even integrate them into the nation of israel that is how life was back then but i can't believe you're going to sit there and say it doesn't matter considering it wasn't even that long ago when America thought that um, that there were weapons of mass destruction over there in, the, in, in Iraq, and we went to war with them like that because of it. Are you serious? It does matter. If you look at any criminal case, Godless Engineer, I need you to look at the screen, dude, because this is really important. If you look at any criminal case, right, if a person is found guilty, listen here, okay, before uh, the judge administers their, 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 you know, how long they're going to be in jail or they're going to be executed, the why is important. That's why we have manslaughter, first degree murder, second degree, second degree murder, and, and various different uh, 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 names for a crime that a person did. And it's going to determine on what the punishment is going to be. If you're going to sit here and tell me it doesn't matter, then it is you who is being intellectually dishonest about this conversation. Okay, I'm a black man. I'm against transatlantic slavery. I'm against the transatlantic slavery. Okay, I don't even like how the police treat us today. But do not try to put that into the Bible if you're not even going to accurately represent what is going on in the situation. And that's all I got to say about that. You're going like this. this How did you're I doing this. You should just accept correction and keep it moving. Maybe Dr. Joshua knows a little bit more about this than you do. I don't know. Uh, okay, uh, listen. Uh, let me just say this right off the bat. Dr. Josh knows vastly m more about the Old Testament than I do, for one thing. Okay, so, uh, so the, there's the, there's re there's really no uh, no contest there. But uh, exactly what have you corrected me on, and and when have I imported, you know, things from from antebellum slavery into? Uh, into the Old Testament. I, I, I don't see where I've done that. All I've done is I've said, hey, God commanded this to happen. You used an example of us going to Iraq for weapons of mass destruction. Tell me something, G-Man. Exactly how many young virgin girls did the United States of America take from Iraq and, and redistribute to the population of America? Can you tell me that exact number? I'll give you the number. The number... I'll follow up with a number and a statement. The number is zero. But do you know how many lives we took because of what happened to 9 11 and because on of. Uh, stay on topic. Of the, uh, Please stay uh, on topic. The, the fact that, 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 topic. that we believe that there was weapons of mass destruction over there. Do you know how many people died in that Please war? Please stay on topic. Are, are you listening to me? How many people were killed in that war? Please stay on topic, G Man. I don't, I don't see well, how this. I don't, I don't see how this applies. Back or would you like no, no, I, I, so so I mean, I mean I, I've been talking for oh, because we're talking about no it does it doesn't apply uh, none, it, of it that, applies, none of that applies it, it, to this applies. conversation it applies because when we're talking about the level of punishment a nation deserves we got to look at the why okay and that's all throughout scripture if you actually pick up the we talked about this before God was engineered if you pick up the Bible and read it you'll see what we're talking about okay if a person did it, what we would call a misdemeanor, the punishment would not be all that. Um, no, all no, that no. We're, not, yeah. we're not getting. No. We're not getting into your crazy. Uh, just crazy idea. Uh, G, um, if you'd uh, like to finish up, or would you like to let Vakel speak? I would like to finish. Okay, so, you're off okay, topic, so, Gman. You're off topic. But you're off. Yeah, you're off. I'm topic, not off man. topic. You are off topic. No, you're off topic. If I'm allowed to speak, I'll show you. No, 